It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for Wellness Wednesday. That's Betsy right. is back from Fayetteville Athletic Club, and we're, today we're talking about recovery and self-care. Recovery and self-care. I love it. Important. You yes. know, I tell you all the time, you got to keep moving, and I want you to keep moving. I sure. want you to move every day, but we also have to take care of our bodies, and we have to give ourselves some time off. Yes. Yeah. It is just as important to take that break, to let everything relax, to, to work those muscles back mm -hmm. out. Um, that's going to aid in us getting stronger, fitter every time we do go back yes. to work. Yes. I feel like last week we talked about uh, warming up. Right. Yes. And how important that is because sometimes that gets overlooked and you definitely want to warm up properly uh, before right. you start doing anything. And as warming up is important, so is the recovery when so you're done. And that's what you're going to show us today. Yes. That's why we have all, all, all the, the things. Fun things. We have what do all we have? kinds <laughs> of fun things with us today. So recovery starts the second you finish your workout. Okay. You always want to make sure that you're taking some time to bring your breath back, that you're slowing down, you're letting your heart rate come back, you're stretching out. Okay. These are things that everybody knows about. Okay. Beyond that, the gym almost always has yeah, one these. Yeah, of these, right? I this see people rolling. This is a foam roller. Yeah. We have one of those at home. There are <laughs> love-hate relationships with foam rollers. <laughs> they are fantastic. So what this is going to do, it's nice and firm. Yeah. And you literally roll on it. You can stretch your back. You can art articulate the spine. Um, you can roll it on your IT band. So you lay yes. on it, and then you okay. put pressure on it, especially for runners. This is where you, you see them make those ugly yes, faces and jump yeah. up. Yeah. So what this is actually doing is it's working the fascia in your muscles. That's the cover of the muscle that starts to get tight and shorten up on us. So it's not even necessarily the muscle that you're trying to do something to. You're trying to warm and lengthen out that fascia. So okay. then the muscle can stretch around it. I love okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Betsy, what am I holding? This is a smaller yes. version gotcha. of this. We've got okay. both of those. Okay. You have handheld, so now I can get further into things. I can get a little deeper into muscles. Still working oh. the fascia? Still working the fascia. Okay. It has the little knobbies on it that's going to dig a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. um, it's called breaking up the fascia. You're not breaking anything. Right. Um, you can have someone else do this for you. Yeah, and you okay. can work backs and oh. shoulders. Why did you stop? I, right? <laughs> Um, same with this tennis ball. You can use this behind a wall, mm -hmm. oh, not behind a wall, on, on a, wall. a wall. You right. stick this behind your back. You can roll up and down. Gotcha. You can set it under your foot. Yeah, but I've seen some we people do it We forget a foot. lot, especially when we wear heels all the time. We forget the bottoms of yeah. our feet all the time, and then we start to get that plantar fasciitis. That's it, we yes. We get Achilles issues. When I have plantar fasciitis, which I get at least once a year, they always direct me to use the tennis ball tennis when I wake ball. up in the morning uh -huh. because yes. it spreads out mm -hmm. the, the, the tendons or Gets something about your foot. all those tendons to open up, warm, warms that muscle up, so then you can use your foot a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. If you really want to go for the big guns, can I guns, put my foot on this one? Of course you can. Yeah. If you really want to go for the big guns, yeah. though, you go with this guy. Okay. So this Ooh. is it lights up. <laughs> it does. It lights up. So this is a massage gun, uh -huh. um, a therapy gun. There's all sorts of brands, all sorts of names. Uh -huh. There's lots of little attachments that go on these, but especially if you have a spot. You're like, man, that's sore. It right. works great on glutes. You can get someone else to help you with your back. They're designed usually big enough that you can do, if you have some mobility in your arms, you can do a lot of it on your own. Um, but it's a great way to get knots out of muscles, yes. bring oxygen back to the muscles so that everything kind of just relaxes back out. I feel so oxygenated <laughs> right? right now. And yes. never, ever underestimate the power of an Epsom salts bath. Okay. Um, especially yes. if you've had a really, really tough workout. Soak in some Epsom salts. Put some Epsom salts in a foot bath and you can soak your feet in okay. it. I just turned um, this up all the way, and I don't know why. I, went I never. Immediately. No, I will tell you, I never have. I never used Woo. to sing all the way on high. My leg is it's numb a now. What? Right? It is. Um, Betsy, remind us why folks should consider FAC as their next place to buy a membership to. So FAC is so much more than just a gym. Obviously, we've got our cardio equipment, our strength training equipment. We've got personal training and. A million group fitness classes, but we also have a community. We have in outdoor pool, we have indoor tennis and pickleball, we have saunas, hot tubs, we have everything. You can spend hours there, a smoothie bar, and oh. get to talk to your friends, get to talk to your people, get a workout in. All the different things. All the there. things. Okay. So you Love can that. warm up, work out, and do some recovery, and recovery all there at FAC. All there in the same spot. Yes.